All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Success Strategies for Online Courses. My name is Christina Buzas, and I am the Virtual Campus Concierge at Wasser Community College. <laughs> and if oh, everyone wow. joining us can go on listen only mode yeah. and, and turn off their audio and turn off their um their webcams as well that would be really helpful i'll be introducing the panelists in just a little bit um, so i just wanted again to kind of introduce myself my name is christina buzas and i'm the virtual campus concierge um, so my role is dedicated to supporting exclusively online students. So this can mean, you know, whether you're getting started with WCC online for the first time, or you have questions about where to go for a resource, or you just need help to talk through how to balance your online classes with your life, I'm here to help. Uh, we're very fortunate today to be joined by three students who have taken online classes at WCC and will be sharing tips from their online experience today, and I really appreciate their time. Before we get into the panel, I want to overview um, the two different course formats that you have available when studying online with WCC. There's on-demand and virtual classroom. So the on-demand classes are accessible 24-7. You'll have a detailed schedule of course requirements and due dates, but a lot of flexibility throughout the week for how to accomplish those requirements. This may be the course format for you if you need this type of flexibility. Additionally, we are also offering virtual classrooms. In the virtual classroom, there are set days and times each week that you will meet online. The required days and times are indicated on the class schedule so you know in advance so that you can plan accordingly. And this may be the course format for you if you prefer the structure of weekly class meeting times and the face-to-face -face connection regularly over video with your instructor and classmates. Now we'll go ahead and get right to the student panel because I know you're all curious to hear about our actual students and what their experience was like. So again, I really appreciate that I have uh, Leslie, Kelly, and Ashley joining us today. So I have a few questions um, that I have prepared, but we also welcome questions from those calling in or watching um, on their computers. You can use the chat box feature on the right hand side so that you can send us a question and we'll be sure to address those um, throughout the session. So my first question, and I'll just go ahead and ask um, Leslie to get started. What um, is your major? Where do you hope to transfer and what's your career goal? Uh, major is um, getting my bachelor's in healthcare administration transferring to Eastern, and um, I should have my associates by next May, and then awesome. be able to transfer to Eastern then, yes. Okay. Ashley, what about you? So right now, I am majoring in liberal arts. Um, I really want to get into psychology. I hope to transfer to Central, and I should be able to do that by next year this time. Awesome. And Kelly, can you give us a little bit about your um, interests, major transfer, and career goal? Um, so I actually, as a student at Washtenaw, I started in fall of 2014, and I left and transferred to Eastern in summer of 2019, so very recent. Um, I went to EMU, and I just graduated from Eastern with a bachelor's in criminal justice and criminology. Um, my kind of career goals, I want to go back to school. Um, since I work at Washtenaw and I've like dealt with a lot of students and I've interacted with them, heard their stories and, and done all that, I want to go back for higher education and continue to help students, um, sort of like WCC helped me. So, Awesome. Well, congratulations on recently completing your degree. That's very exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I want to also ask, what made you all decide to take classes online? Um, and I'll start with Ashley first. Well, um, when I first graduated high school back in 2009, I was introduced to like both virtual and, you know, actually going. But my current situation with three kids and the school being so far online was just a better choice. Like it was just way more convenient. Mm -hmm. 
And Leslie, what about you? What made you decide to take online classes? Um, just, you know, working 40 hours a week and um, having a busy home life. Um, it's a little bit more convenient for me to take classes online. Mm -hmm. And Kelly, what about you? What um, made you decide to take online classes? I think it's conveniency, um, but then also kind of fate for me. Um, a lot of the classes I needed to transfer were only offered online. Um, and so it gave me that chance to figure out what was going on in my life and mm -hmm. continue on with my education, which is very important for me. Um, my education has always come first, but sometimes life does get in the way. And so uh, online classes were the best option um, to, continue, to continue on with that. Thanks. Ashley, I want to go back to something you said earlier because um, one of the drivers for you was take online classes because you have three kids and, yes. you know, lots of students in that situation where they have families and significant others and are trying to balance that all together. And I guess what was, what's been, you know, kind of like your, your secret sauce to balancing online classes with kids <sighs> and you have young ones. <laughs> Man, so before um, the stay at home order, I would take advantage of the help. You know, I think like as a mom, you kind of want to do it all. But when people say like they'll watch the kids, I will let them watch the kids. And I kind of like mm -hmm. balance out my schoolwork where I'll do like 20 minutes here and 20 minutes there instead of trying to put like a whole hour down at one time into doing schoolwork. Because for one, it's like better for me to remember everything. And I'm not like so consumed into my schoolwork that I'm ignoring the kids. So it's just kind of, you gotta have to, you have to balance it out. So nap time, even though I would rather nap with them, I have to do my homework. <laughs> and when they go to bed at night, that's when I would get in, you know, like that one, two, three hours, you know, if I can. Mm -hmm. So that's Thanks how I balance that. that. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. I know it's not easy to balance classes with all the other things we have going on in our lives. Um, Leslie, I had just kind of a follow-up question for you. Um, mm -hmm. Can you kind of just briefly overview the typical structure and components of an online course, just so our listeners have a better idea of what a, what might their experience in online class be like in terms of what kind of typical assignments or things that you'd be doing, activities and things like that? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously definitely a little bit different compared to going to class. Um, first of all, you know, the teacher that you sign up with on class might not always be doing the lectures. They have a couple other teachers that come in and do lectures as well. Um, but then, you know, you have your syllabus, so you can follow that. There's obviously due dates. Um, you know, there's learning units, and there's many different ways to, you know, get help. You can, um, you know, chat with your classmates online and um, that kind of thing. So it's a little bit different in the aspect of who's teaching the class. It's always just the main teacher, but then there, like I said, there's always other teachers that are teaching different parts of the class. Like in terms of like maybe having videos that may have been lectures from other instructors. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You might be seeing video lectures from a variety of instructors in that department. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, what did you find challenging about online courses and were there any specific strategies that you use to address those challenges and i'll um, um, start with that one. or leslie go ahead, yeah. go ahead oh sorry no no no. go ahead you then we'll go and go ahead <laughs> you want to start with that question um so i i honestly i'm a little bit different i truly produce my best work alone so i'm a little bit different in that sense but the only thing that i find the most difficult is all the deadlines and when everything you do, um, kind of keeping up with those. And I just, I found my, I got myself a planner. Um, you can do like digital planners to put it in your phone, uh, your laptop calendar, anything like that. I put in all those due dates and I actually, I'm a little bit weird. I had it set to remind me about it every day. And so that it was never off of my mind that I had to do that. It's a little extreme, but um, that's just kind of how I do my best work is when things are, I'm on top of things and I have like, set times and days when I'm going to do them. Um, and so what I did to kind of overcome all that is I created, I call it like a, like a school hour, um, is that every day or every other day or something like that, I set aside one hour of my day 
it's completely devoted to schoolwork. Um, I would tell people in my house, like, please don't bother me during this time. This is my school time. I'd find my place in my house that is school only. I would only go there when I did school. I'd stay there for that hour. And of course, it's not the same time every day. It can change. But having that one hour to do all your schoolwork, it makes you feel better because you're not like stressed. Um, if like online classes, a lot of assignments are typically due like Sunday. Um, and Sunday is probably family time for people. And so if you do it those couple hours through the week, um, you'll probably have it done even before Sunday comes. So I felt like that was best for me um, to complete everything on time. Yeah. Ashley, what about you? Um, so I think the biggest challenge with online classes is just being disciplined and, and realizing that even though it is on your own pace, you still have deadlines. Um, and for me personally, I print out everything and I write everything. So I have like all my syllabus and I have all my due dates and assignments. Like I print everything out, even though it's like a digital world, I still like to physically have the papers in my hand. That way it's easy for me to just look through it. And I also write everything down. Um, I have a planner too. Actually, it's like a little passion planner. I put all my assignments in and I have reminders on my phone too, um, just to keep me, you know, on the right course and on time because I, my, I hate turning stuff in on the last day. Like, especially if it's like I'm trying to finish it. So I just try to do everything ahead of time if I can. And that's kind of why I try to work like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, because I don't want to just, I'm not guaranteed like that hour all the time, like unless it's sleeping hours. So I try to spread it out if I can. And like I said, I like to print everything out because it's just easier for me to be able to look at everything physically versus on a computer. <laughs> Thanks. And Leslie, how about you? What what have you found challenging? What do you do to address that? Uh, yeah, the same for the other two as well. I agree. I, I'm a planner, so I plan things out. I, you know, plan that I'm going to do studying a certain time of the day um, when I'm obviously available. I um, print out the syllabus. I check things off to make sure that I know that I got them done. Um, and, you know, like, you know, they said you have to be disciplined when you take online classes because it is just, you know, online so you don't have someone, you know, have to show up to class, but you still have deadlines to get stuff done. So, yeah. What tips would you offer to those that are new to online learning and new to taking courses online? Um, Ashley, you want to go ahead and get started with that? Um, sure. So my personal tip is to write everything down um, and print out your syllabus and don't be afraid to ask for help because I know last semester I kind of fell in that category, um, but I had a student email me this semester about something in the book and I was like, I wish I would have did that. So that's something else is you do still have your classmates and your teachers and like there's tutoring and like there's so much so like so many resources you should definitely try to take advantage of them <laughs> so those are pretty much uh, <laughs> my tips yeah, what about you kelly <laughs> what, um what tips would you share with new students to online learning um i think i tell um everybody even if it's an in-person class that you should always introduce yourself to your instructors even though like you're online, they're there. And I think a lot of people might forget that they're there to help you and they want you to succeed. And I think that that might get lost in online classes that people sometimes think that they're alone. But the reality is, is that you're not. You, I always do this. The first, first true day of online classes, I'll email my instructor and say, hi, my name's Kelly. I'm in your class. Um, I just want to let you know, I'll probably be emailing you frequently because I might need help. And so I just want them to know that I'm there and I'm putting in that extra effort and the effort that I would in like in-person classes. Um, and also like pick yourself, people are pretty friendly, um, especially at Washtenaw. I found that like nobody's ever said like no to me. Um, so I've always emailed at least one student um, in that class as well. So if for some reason I'm not getting something and the instructor's not readily available for me, I have somebody who's working on it at the same time 
and that they're there in case I can't get a hold of the instructor and we can try to figure it out together until the instructor does come available. Um, mm -hmm. So just kind of make yourself out there and, and, you know, that the instructors are there for you and that they will help you if you do need it. Um, mm -hmm. so the introductions and, and getting that help if you do need it. So. Yeah. What about you, Leslie? Yeah, same. Just, you know, ask for help. Your instructor is always there to help you. They want to see you succeed and pass and reach out to your classmates. Um, that's, you know, don't ever hesitate and you can't ask too many questions. Mm -hmm. That's so true. You know, just because yeah. you're online, you might be at home or at work or someplace else working on this on the workload for your classes, it doesn't mean that you don't have the support there. Um, your instructor mm -hmm. is still a live person there to answer your questions and to support you to, to be successful. Yeah, definitely. Um, can you share um, what resource or resources did you find helpful as you've been taking classes at Washtenaw? Um, Kelly, you wanna uh, start with that one? Um, definitely the student planner. Um, that's one of the big things for me. I plan, plan, plan until I can't plan anymore. Um, and that just, that just helps me out. Um, tutoring, that was a big, that was a big thing for me. Um, I took a hard math class. I'm okay at math. I just don't enjoy doing it. And, you know, for all those who enjoy doing math, like I applaud you, but I just don't enjoy doing it. And so sometimes it comes difficult to me. So utilizing those tutors in like every subject that we have, there's somebody who can help you. So, you know, and learning to find the people that you need. So if you need help in something, reaching out to those people, they're not going to turn you away. Um, I've never had, like I said, I'm very like out there. I've never had anybody turn me away um, and or say they couldn't help me. And if I went to the wrong person and they said they can't help me, they found the person who could. Um, and so I've never been turned away. So just learning to ask help um, for tutoring, for planning, for whatever you need. Um, but tutoring and the planner were the big things for me. Thank you. Leslie, what about you? Yep, same. Tutoring um, and then structure, really. If you don't have any kind of structure and have a plan, kind of your day planned out, it you can kind of fall off track, I think. Um, but just reaching out for help with tutoring your classmates, your instructor, that kind of thing is definitely key. Mm -hmm. um, so I agree, um, obviously, but I also think the, the Blackboard um, support is, I think it's kind of laid to the side, but I think that's a really great resource because I've had issues with Blackboard before and I had to contact support and they're actually very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and that's who you want to contact if you are having technical difficulties versus your teacher. Um, and But I also think that um, being able to contact your, your teacher is also a great resource because their contact mm -hmm. information is there. You can email them about anything like I've had some great conversations with some of the teachers that I've um, took classes with and also I really agree with Kelly on being able to reach out to other classmates um, I don't know if that's like considered like a resource but the fact that you can see you know who's in your class and you have those um, discussion boards are very useful so you should definitely mm -hmm. take advantage of the discussions that you have in your classes and being able to reach out to your teachers and your uh, classmates Thank you so much for um, sharing so much of your valuable insight. You know, I know you are students who've done this really well. You're taking the time today to, to share this information with us. And I really appreciate just hearing uh, from you all. And I'm sure those that are going to be listening in and hearing this in the future uh, appreciate that as well. You know, if there's any questions that anybody in the audience might have, uh, feel free to type those in and I'll make sure to field those to our panelists. Um, I did also want to share um, another uh, a student who wasn't able to join us today, but took the time to email me some responses to these questions that I also wanted to share with those listening in that I thought was helpful. So let me go back and um, share my screen here. Share. So this student wrote in the email, online classes are highly convenient. I wish I would have taken them 
taken all my classes online since I started college years ago, I would have graduated by now. And this student is um, majoring in computer science, hopes to study data analytics at Purdue Global, and opted for online classes due to not having transportation. And uh, the student's tips for those that might be new to online or have experience, but just the take that uh, the student shared with me is, you know, checking email every day. This is going to be the source of all WCC information. Um, setting up folders on your computer for each class to stay organized was another tip. Uh, using Office 365 with your student email account. This is free access to the Microsoft Office products that you can get just because you have um, a WCC email address. Um, another suggestion and tip was to set up Microsoft OneDrive cloud storage and then link Office 365 to automatically save these documents. Another cloud storage option you have as a WCC student is your Google Drive. And the convenience of this cloud storage will allow you to access it on any device from anywhere. And so if you're working on a paper at the library and then continue it back at home, you just have to access it through your uh, cloud storage and it can be really convenient for you. Um, and the other aspect with your WCC email is a Google Calendar. Uh, I know that was a, a theme among um, all of the three joining us today, uh, planning, scheduling, and um, tracking your due dates, setting up reminders that you get notifications. Um, I have a question that came in that I'll go ahead and uh, maybe one of you can address this. Um, are there, you know, you mentioned tips for students who might not be planners or, or they might struggle with organization and self-discipline. What might you suggest for someone? I know all of you seem to be really on top of managing your time and planning out things. Um, do you have any suggestions for maybe someone who is working through that and trying to work on managing their time more effectively and being more planful? What might you suggest? Um. Well, I can answer because I I used to work two jobs while going to school, um, but but basically um, I would say you still have to set a, aside time. And when you get that lunch break, you should try to use it for studying if you can. Um, it's just, it, it is hard. And I think that's where discipline comes in. You just have to be really disciplined and really focus on what you want out of your future because there's a lot of days where I can say I don't have time, but you have to make the time. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to put the time in to get it done. And like I say, on your lunch break, you know, even if you can, if you can get to work a little bit early, just so you can have a minute maybe to go over some stuff for school or maybe stay late at work if, you know, if at home it's a little bit crazy, but you just have to find the time to get your classwork done, you know, even if you have to go to the library, something like that, which we can't really do right now, but <laughs> you just really have to make the time and be disciplined. It really goes down to being disciplined, I think. Yeah. Uh, what might you suggest for someone who is just kind of getting started with, um, you know, may not have a regular routine right now and they're trying to kind of get that initial setup of a schedule, what might you suggest? Like maybe, maybe if you walk us through like that getting into that first semester or that first day? How do you organize yourself and orient yourself to the semester? Can uh, one of you maybe answer that? Yeah, I think just, um, plan oh, go ahead. Nope, go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Nope, you go ahead. <laughs> um, so if you had met me, like my first semester at WCC, I would have not said that I'm good at planning anything. It was an absolute train wreck. Um, so how I sort of like overcame that part, um, like I, trust me, I never planned anything. It came with a lot of, a lot of like learned self-discipline. I never really had any advice. Um, so if I were to go back in time and tell myself back then a piece of advice, it probably would just to be to, to trust yourself and to figure in like, it's kind of hard to explain that in that way. Um, but so start small um, if you're trying to figure out how to tackle college or tackle online classes or being organized, start small. So 
go and download, um, go like uh, on a website, download a calendar for the month and start there. Don't go weekly yet. Start on a calendar and then put in those days. Hang it somewhere where you see it all the time. Put in due dates. Put in something that you have to do, whether it's like, oh, I'm going to go take a walk on at 2.30 on Wednesday. You know, start putting in those little things. And certainly, after a certain amount of time, you'll start to keep looking at the calendar. And then for me, I started to plan ahead, like things that I had to do in advance. So I'd see that calendar in my room. And before I left every day, I'd look at it and be like, oh, I have something to do Wednesday at 2.30. I'm going on a walk. And then I would start to bring it back to school. And so I'd start to apply it to assignments and things and be like, oh, I have an assignment due or an essay even due two weeks from Monday. All right, I should probably start doing it in a couple of days. I should start researching these days. And so it came with time. There's no right, like, you can be a planner and you can be self-disciplined like tomorrow you just have to start small and i think that starting that small it'll eventually get you there but that's my piece of the advice. thanks i have another um good question what one piece of advice um, could you offer to a student who's considering an online class but has been afraid to try one um i would suggest taking a, cl a class that obviously that they need, but not it being a extremely hard one um, to where maybe they should be taking that in person opposed to taking it online. Like Ashley and Kelly and I have said, it's you have to be disciplined um, with taking an online class. And if it gets to be a little bit tricky or harder class, um, they might wanna consider that opposed to taking it online rather than going to in class. Mm -hmm. Maybe starting with the sad subject that you enjoy, you feel pretty confident about, might be a little yeah. holes in the water. Or yeah. Something. Kind of fit that criteria of, you know, I think I'm interested in the subject. I think I could handle that online. Let's let's start there. Yes. Yep. Okay, great. Just to kind of get the feel of it and get, you know, a, a schedule down for yourself and, you know, um, just you know, you have a goal to, that you want to accomplish and achieve and be successful. So you don't really want to set yourself up, you know, needless to say to fail. So you want to do something that you, you know, can comfortable with and try it out to see if you even like it. It might not be for you taking an online class. Mm -hmm. And I want to add to that too, because like what Kelly was saying, like it does take time to build that discipline. So I think if you do want to start online classes, you should start with like one class that mm -hmm. is something that you will probably enjoy. And that way you can work your way up to taking more classes and being able yeah. to have that schedule. Yeah. But you are like testing, balancing, you know, more than one class a semester with life responsibility. So, you know, it can be done, but you're right in building that, um, that success um, skills uh, to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, I have, let's see here. Okay. Um, do you all have any kind of feedback on this? You know, um, is there anywhere that someone can turn to to get their internet or computer skills, kind of bring those um, up to speed? What, what might have been helpful to you when you ran into some technical difficulties or maybe need to learn things more about other software. Can you make suggestions if you ran into that before? Um, well, there's, I know the school has a lot of resources, but you can never go wrong with um, YouTube, I would say maybe, <laughs> if you wanna learn <laughs> something possibly, but you can always reach out to someone at the school. It's kind of different now, especially with everyone having to stay home and social distancing, but I would say you could even go up to the school, you know, and have someone walk you through different um, software and stuff. But YouTube will. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to add to just kind of from um, some of the WCC resources available. Um, there's uh, several that I can mention. So, you know, Ashley, I know you mentioned in, in Blackboard, there's a lot of help and how to's in terms of the, the, the technicalities of uploading assignments, saving things as PDFs, and those kind of some of those logisticals and technical things are right there in your Blackboard, which is your online course site. 
um, and plus the help desk um, that's available to walk you through some of those technical aspects. If you if you want to um, really kind of get into more skills about the computer and software, CIS 100 could be a good class to take. Um, you have access to LinkedIn Learning as a student, and there's a ton of resources there as well. Uh, we also have our Learning Commons, uh, which is our area for that oversees all the tutoring and our Computer Commons area um, on campus. Um, and so there's there's support as well uh, in terms of learning computer skills and getting getting that help. So we really want to surround students with a lot of support. Um, you know, within your class, but also in all the other resources you have available as a Washtenaw student. Thanks so much uh, for kind of jumping in on those additional questions we're getting in, which is really awesome. All right, there was a couple more tips that I wanted to share. Um, so let's go ahead and get back onto my screen here. Okay, so we talked about some of the other tips that another student shared. Um, and with this great topic of supports, I really want to make sure that we're mentioning the different ways that you can get support as an online student. We have virtual advising and tutoring. We've mentioned the IT help desk and that's available 24 seven. We have success coaches that are assigned to working with students that are great to reach out to if uh, you want to work on goal setting and time management and um, navigating campus resources or overcoming difficulties that may come up during the semester. We have accommodations for students with disabilities and a whole lot more. I provided the web address where you can learn more about the different resources we have available to help you be successful in your online courses while you're at Washtenaw. Uh, we really want you to have a great online and experience to have a positive and successful one and uh, we want to surround you with the support that you might need. Um, I have another good question coming in here. Is there an opportunity to purchase computer equipment at a discount? Um, does anyone have any suggestions for that one? Not to my knowledge. Um, at this time, um, so we work with the Computer Commons over at WCC and uh, we're the Learning Commons, but from what I've heard, there is kind of an eBay for WCC okay. and there are a lot of computers that we're replacing so it's possible uh, I still need to check with my boss about it but it is possible you can get if you're an employee you can get like a I think a five or ten percent discount at the bookstore but um, that's about it as far as I know well, a couple other um suggestions here so um, from from some of our audience members there's you can have discounts on computers from both Dell and Apple using a student email uh, we also have a, a student emergency fund so depending on what might be going on with your um, case or your situation there's an application online uh, where you can apply and that is um, additional funding that's available from the foundation office. So there is support to you know, helping students get the technology that they might need. Okay. Well, if there's definitely any other questions or other helpful comments that those um, listening in wanna, wanna provide in the chat box, that'd be great, I'll keep eyeing that. So as I, as I mentioned, there's lots of support for online courses. We really wanna have you, um, have, you uh, have a good experience and successful semesters uh, with us at Washtenaw. Um, and, and like I said, part of my role is to connect with students that are wanting to study exclusively online. So here's my contact information. Feel free to call or text if you have any additional questions. I'm happy to address those. And um, as Kelly mentioned, you know, if, if I don't know the answer, I connect you to the right people um, and just kind of get you to connect it to what you need here at Washtenaw. Um, if there's no additional comments or questions, I really appreciate, um, you know, Kelly and uh, Ashley and Leslie for taking the time um, out of their 
uh, schedules to be with us today and to share their experiences and their um, and their just uh, you know suggestions and tips to be successful in the online classroom. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, just another couple quick questions here. Is there a student discount for internet service? Um, yes, um, a lot of the online companies, the internet companies have provided a lot of discounts. Like I know Comcast is doing that. Um, on our website, there's a remote, if you search for remote learning support and resources, there's um, a list of ways that you can get into um, uh, some discounted internet providers and be able to get um, support with that. So check out our remote learning support and resources on our website. If you search from that, it links from our WCC online page. Also, just uh, to let people know, uh, also check with your phone providers if you guys have a smartphone. Um, a lot of the phone providers have expanded their uh, data cap or eliminated their data cap for, um, you know, for this period of time. So you can yeah. use your phone as a hotspot. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, and there's just one other question just to um, recap uh, briefly about the virtual classroom and the on-demand classes. Um, so these are the two different formats that we're offering uh, right now at WCC Online. So the on-demand are accessible 24-7. You have the flexibility to get into your course site on Blackboard and work through your requirements. There will be a specific um, dates and deadlines that you need to follow. And then there's also um, the virtual classroom, where if you're looking on our online class schedule, um, you'll see that there are set days and times that are posted. And then for location, it says virtual classroom. And so during those time frames, um, each week, you will be connecting online, where you'll be able to kind of have that online class meeting with your instructor and classmates. So there's that regular structure of class meeting times each week. All right, I'm not seeing any other questions coming in at this time. So once again, I just wanna thank um, the three of you for, for coming in and um, talking with us. Um, so you, you know, again, I just appreciate your time and experience uh, to connect with us. One other, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on my chat box here. So, um, <laughs> Uh, you will need it. Yeah, so if you're going to be taking online classes, we really encourage you to have the webcam. So again, on our WCC online page, uh, which is just wccnet.edu slash online, it'll go over um, what is the technology and equipment you need to have um, to be successful in an online course. And it'll also even give you um, an option to take a brief assessment to see if you feel ready to take an online class. And um, as I mentioned, it'll connect you to the various resources and supports for remote learning. Thank you again. Thanks for joining You're us. Welcome. Thank you for the awesome questions and feedback from those listening in. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the, their day. And uh, thanks again. You too. Bye -bye. You too. Bye. Bye.